Okay, uh, here we are again at mathcoverage.com. We're trying to solve limits analytically, and we're going to uh, uh, be working on that problem set that you could uh, download um, the notes of this all worked out um, on the website. Okay, so let's look at this one here, number 7. The limit of x plus 1 over 7 as x approaches pi. So we just do direct substitution, and we plug it in. So we have pi plus 1 over 7. Easy enough. Looking at number 8, now this one's going to be a little bit different. As I plug uh, 100 in, I end up getting 1 over 0 because 100 minus 100 is 1 over 0. Now we can't divide by 0 here and so this thing is, becomes undefined. Therefore we say that the limit does not exist. And uh, in class you may uh, see it denoted as D and E where the limit does not exist. Alright, looking at number 9, so put 2 in the bottom and we automatically see that we get 0, much like the last problem, except in this one it's a little bit different. We can factor the top, so we must rewrite the limit. So this can be written as x minus 2 over x plus 2. And we have x minus 2 in the bottom. So when you get zero on the bottom, you need first thing. Uh, first thing you need to do is uh, think about factoring and canceling terms out. So we can cancel some terms out here, and I'm going to do that. And now what you want to do is uh, rewrite this limit. So we have the limit as x approaches two of x plus two. Now we can plug our two in, and we have two plus two which is 4. Okay. Now this problem here, number 10, if we plug 1 in the bottom, we get 0. And if we plug 1 in the top, we end up getting 1 squared plus 1 is 2. Now you notice you can't factor the top. So we end up with 2 over 0. And remember, when we get 0 in the bottom, that means that the limit does not exist. And uh, really what's going on here is we have a vertical asymptote at uh, x equals 1. Alright, moving uh, right along here, number 11. So if you plug 9 in, you end up getting 9 minus 9, which is 0. So we get the square root of 0 over 9. And uh, if we put 0 on the top, then that means uh, that the limit is just equal to 0. So you got to remember, if you get 0 on the bottom and a number in the top other than 0, that's undefined. But if we get 0 on the top and a number other than 0 on the bottom, then the limit is 0. So uh, get those uh, ironed out in your mind there. Okay, and this one here, we're going to plug 2 in. And uh, doing the direct substitution, if I put 2 in, I get uh, 2 minus 10, which uh, happens to be negative 8. And now we have to deal with this, but that's okay. We can deal with this. And then if I plug 2 in the bottom, I get to 2 minus 11. So we end up with 3 roots. And subtracting 2 off, that's going to be negative 9. Right. So two, uh, a number multiplied by itself 3 times gives me 8. And that's going to end up being uh, negative 2 over. Now this is a tricky one. This is a tricky one here. We know that this is going to end up being a negative 9. Um, rewriting this here to the 1 3rd. We'll write this in exponential form. And so you have to do uh, a little algebra here. And uh, we end up with negative 2 over negative 3 to the 2 thirds. Yeah. So there's a, there's a trick to that, and then the negatives cancel out. And that concludes this problem.